everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 5th and 6th of june 2022 let's start what is the name of the new model schools proposed by the union education ministry so union education minister dharmendra pradhan addressed the national education ministers conference in gandhinagar in the state of gujarat with a focus on implementation of the new national education policy 2020 so he announced that the education ministry is in the process of establishing the prime minister shri schools as the laboratory of the national education policy 2020 so the schools will be fully equipped to prepare the students for their future okay so the name of these new model schools is prime minister shri school now coming to the question slide what is the new name of turkey from june 2022 as announced by the united nations so united nations received the official request of turkey to rebrand itself as turkey in all the languages and united nations chiefs spokesperson has announced that the change is immediate because over the past few years the country sought to change the branding on its products from made in turkey to made in turkey right which country is the host of the globe sec 2022 forum so the host for this event is the country slovakia and our external affairs minister s j shankar was recently on a 5 day visit to slovakia and zec republic don't forget that zec republic will take over the european union presidency from next month okay what is the position of india in the asia cup hockey tournament 2022 so india's rank in this tournament is third and india beat japan to win the bronze medal fine which country was at the top it was south korea second was malaysia do not forget that this is the south korea's fifth time win and india and pakistan have won asia cup title thrice which is the only indian institution in the top 50 list of 2022 times higher education asia university ranking this is indian institute of science bangalore and rank of this institute is 42nd so india is the third most represented country with total 71 universities on the list and uh, which institutes were under the top 100 first is jss ac of higher education and research and its rank was 65 then there was iit roper with rank 68 and then there was iit indore and its rank was 87 okay what is the name of the campaign launched to ensure the complete covid-19 vaccination in june 2022 so the name of this particular campaign is har ghar dastak campaign 2.0 fine next question when is the world bicycle day celebrated every year so world bicycle day is celebrated every year on 3rd of june to develop a culture of cycling for basic transportation commutation and strengthening the physical and mental health 
एंड यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स अनुराग ठाकुर लॉन्च्ड अ नेशन वाइड फिट इंडिया फ्रीडम राइडर साइकिल रैली फ्रॉम मेजर ध्यानचंद स्टेडियम इन न्यू डेली ऑन द अकेजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बाइसिकल डे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फाइन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट डेज इन थीम्स appreciate all parents throughout the world is the theme of which day observed on 1st of june so this was the theme for this year's global day of parents which is celebrated on 1st of june to appreciate the commitment of parents towards their children on which day is the world milk day celebrated every year it is also observed on june 1st and the goal of this year is to achieve dairy net zero by reducing the greenhouse gas emissions and improving the waste management over the next 30 years fine right? what is the theme of the world no tobacco day 2022 so this day is observed on 31st of may and for this year theme was tobacco a threat to our environment fine what is the theme of international day of yoga 2022 so this day is observed on 21st of june and for this year theme was yoga for humanity okay world hunger day is observed on which date so this day is observed on 28th of may fine next question india's first liquid mirror telescope has been commissioned in which state or the union territory so india's first liquid mirror telescope which is the international liquid mirror telescope has been set up on the campus of devsthal observatory of the arbhat research institute of observational sciences in nanital in the state of uttarakhand so this telescope will observe asteroids supernovas space debris and all other celestial object from an altitude of 2450 meters in the himalayas and it is the first liquid telescope globally to be designed exclusively for astronomical purposes fine coming to the question slide which institution developed india's first farmland price index so iim ahmedabad has partnered with an e marketplace for agricultural land called s farms india to develop a farm land price index based on the sales and purchase done on the platform so this iim ahmedabad s farms land price index which is also written as i s a l p i records and presents the data on prices of agricultural land in the country and it can be used by the local governments to compensate the people who lose land for the highway expansion okay the united nations welcomed the first commercial flight from sana airport to egypt where is sana airport located so this airport lies in the country yemen in which month of 2022 did the gst revenues cross the 1.4 lakh crore rupees mark for the very first time since inception so this landmark has been achieved recently in march 2022 Which state or union territory hosted the India's first lavender festival? So India's very first lavender festival has been hosted by the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir, and Union Minister Jitendra Singh has inaugurated this festival. In which state or union territory North India's first industrial biotech park inaugurated? So it was also inaugurated in Jammu and Kashmir, and it will basically transform the economy. and enable the scientist to tackle the challenges of climate challenge and this park has been inaugurated by lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir manoj sinha and union minister jitendra singh okay next question which indian personality was honored by the geneva based martin annals foundation so the martin annals foundation has decided to posthumously pay homage to father stan swami He was actually a priest and a tribal rights activist from the state of Jharkhand and he had been arrested in the Bhima Koregaon case and he worked closely with the Adivasi communities 
to safeguard their land, forest and the labor right. So this Geneva based foundation present the award regarded as the Nobel Prize for the human rights defender every year and the recipient of this year's award include Doda Diallo from Burkina Faso. Second is Pham Doan Trang from Vietnam and the third is Abdul Hadi Al Khwaja from Bahrain. Fine. Now let's see some of the important questions. Which country is the host of the 15th session of the Conference of Parties that is COP15 to the UNCCD? So the host of this event was Cote d'Ivoire, right? Which Indian architect has been conferred the prestigious Royal Gold Medal 2022? So this award has been conferred to Mr. Bal Krishna Doshi. Where will the three-day Smart Cities Smart Urbanization Conference take place? So S is for Smart and S is for Surat. Which is the venue of the JAN International Trade Organization's Chito Connect 2022 conference? So the venue of this conference was Pune. Which city is the host of the Plast India 2023 11th International Plastic Exhibition and Conference? Answer is New Delhi. Which is the venue of the Semicon India Conference 2022? Answer would be Bangalore. Okay. Next question. Housing Development Finance Corporation, that is HDFC, partnered with which technology company for digitization of its lending business? So HDFC has partnered with Accenture to digitally transform its lending business. And this collaboration includes a cloud native lending platform with digital workflows for application, loan processing, credit underwriting, and the decision making, along with the disbursement and the loan services. So a machine learning based decision engine is also used for the risk mitigation. Fine. Now let's see some of the important companies that were in news. Which company recently announced to launch the Amber Alerts to find the missing children? So recently Meta has announced that Amber Alerts will be launched in Instagram in total 25 countries and with the new feature users in these regions will get notifications of missing children in the area. So this feature was already present on Facebook and it has helped find hundreds of children since its launch in the year 2015 and Amber Alerts for Instagram was developed in partnership with various organizations various organizations like US National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the International Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Okay. The Ministry of Defense signed a contract with which company for supply of Astra MK1 air to air missile. This is Bharat Dynamics Limited. Which company took over the force passenger vehicle manufacturing plant at Sanand in the state of Gujarat. This is Tata Motors. Which company launched a spot offer on WhatsApp to provide in principle home loan approval to the home buyers within just two minutes? This is HDFC. Which space company successfully conducted a static fire test of Kalam 100 rocket? So this has been tested by Skyroot Aerospace. Fine. Next question. Bhajan Sopori who passed away recently was associated with which field? So Santur Maestro Bhajan Sopori, also called as the Saint of Santur, or you can say the King of Strings, passed away recently at the age of 73 years. And this veteran musician received multiple awards throughout his career, including the Padma Shri and in the year 2004, and the Sangeet Natak Academy Award in the year 1992 and the Jammu and Kashmir State Lifetime Achievement Award as well. Fine. Let's see some of the important awards. Which Indian filmmaker has been selected for the Locarno Kids Award La Mobiliar at Locarno Film Festival? This is Gitanjali Rao. Which state announced Rajiv Gandhi Khelrat Award and Rajiv Gandhi Rural Olympics. 
So these two things have been recently announced by the state of Rajasthan, the chief minister of which is Ashok Gehlot. Who among the following won the International Panorama Golden Award? This award has been recently conferred to Mr. K. V. Raghu Pati. Okay. Which Indian state has been selected by the World Health Organization for World No Tobacco Day Award 2022? So recently, WHO has selected the state Jharkhand for this award because of their continuous effort to reduce the tobacco consumption. Who has won the 2022 Vangari Mathai Forest Champions Award? This is Cecily Najibit from Cameroon. Okay. Next question. Which organization organized the Startup India 2022 Expo and Conclave? So Union Minister of State Dr. Jitender Singh has addressed the Startup India 2022 Expo and Conclave as a chief guest and it was organized by the PhD Chamber of Commerce in New Delhi. So after the launch of Startup India, Stand Up India, the number of startups in India has grown from 400 in the year 2014 to 70,000 now in the year 2022. Okay. Let's see some of the important organizations. Global Collaboration Village is the new initiative of which organization? So this is the new initiative of World Economic Forum and it has been launched in collaboration with Accenture and Microsoft and aim is to define and build the metaverse and it will also bring together the key global stakeholders to address the critical global issues, right? Which organization launched the Alliance of CEO Climate Action Leaders India? So again, answer is the World Economic Forum and it will serve as a high level platform to support the business leaders in planning and implementing the programs to achieve the climate targets, including net zero economic growth. Fine. Which organization announced to fund $30 billion to tackle the global food crisis? This is World Bank. Indian Space Research Organization successfully tested solid rocket booster HS200. This is the component of which mission? So this is the component of our Gaganyan mission. Agriculture Ministry signed a memorandum of understanding with which organization for the technical support towards Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana and Kisan Credit Card Scheme. So recently, Ministry of Agriculture has signed this MOU with United Nations Development Program to get the technical support for these two schemes. Fine. Next question. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami won the bipole from which constituency? So Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, Mr. Pushkar Singh Dhami won from the Champawat bipole by a margin of over 55,000 votes and earlier he had lost from Khatima Assembly constituency in the Uttarakhand Assembly polls 2022 even though BJP won a clear majority in the state. So this was a crucial victory for the Chief Minister to win the bipoll to retain the Chief Minister post, right? Now let's see some of the important states that were in news. Panna Tiger Reserve is located in which state or the Union Territory? So this Tiger Reserve is located in the Vindhyan Hills in the Northern Madhya Pradesh and Union Ministry of Jal Shakti recently released the final report of Integrated Landscape Management Plan for the Greater Panna Landscape. So this plan has been prepared in respect of the Kane Betwa Link Project by the Wildlife Institute of India for better habitat protection and management of species such as tiger, vulture and the ghadiyal, right? Which state or union territory has launched faceless road transport offices? So the government of Maharashtra has decided to make six road transport offices services online. So people who need a permanent driving license or verification for an international driving license will need to go to the RTO and Maharashtra's transport department provides 80 online services and now six more services have been included in this, right? 
which state or union territory launched the e-stamping facility after abolishing fiscal stamp papers of all denomination. This is the state, Punjab. And few days back, the Chief Minister of Punjab has also launched Lok Milani program for the grievance redressal of the citizens of Punjab. Which state or union territory has developed a mobile application called ACB 14400 for lodging the complaints against corruption? This state is Andhra Pradesh. Which state has decided to conduct a caste-based census named as Jati Adharit Gardha? This is the state Bihar. Right? Next question. Which country signed the deals worth $1 billion to settle the land claim of Siksika tribe? So the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, recently signed the deals worth $1.3 billion, billion Canadian dollars, to settle a Blackfoot tribe's land claim. And this $1.3 billion Canadian dollar settlement is one of the largest agreements of its kind reached in Canada. So it aims to correct the mistakes dating back over a century when Canadian government broke promise and wrongfully took half of Siksika Nation's reserve land to sell to the settlers. Fine. Let's see some of the international current affairs. Which country's medical team reconstructed a 3D ear made of the living cells? So US medical team have reconstructed a human ear using the patient's own tissue to create a 3D bio implant and this procedure can be used to treat the people with a rare birth defect. Okay. So this surgery was performed as an early stage clinical trial to evaluate the safety and efficacy of the implant for the people with microtia in which the external ear is small and not formed properly. Ribbon wheat, the world's largest plant has recently been discovered in which country? So the world's largest plant, the ribbon weed, has recently been discovered off the west coast of Australia and it is a kind of seagrass. So ribbon weed rhizomes can usually grow to around 35 centimeters per year and with this the scientist arrived at its lifespan of 4500 year. So it has double the number of chromosomes than other similar plants and it managed to survive the volatile atmosphere of the shark bay as well. Okay. So only thing you have to remember is this plant has been found in Australia. India signed MOUs on visa free regime for diplomatic and official passport holders and the youth matters with which country. So India's Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu is on a three nation tour reached Senegal recently which is a West African country and India signed three MOUs with Senegal, one on visa free regime for diplomatic and official passport holders. Second is renewal of cultural exchange program for the period of 2022 to 26 and the third one is bilateral cooperation in the youth matters. India signed a vision statement for defense cooperation with which country? So India and Israel adopted a vision statement for strengthening defense cooperation in future and this statement marked 30 years of diplomatic ties between the two countries. So Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh and his Israeli counterpart held bilateral talks in New Delhi and the two leaders discussed the defense cooperation and the global and regional defense scenario. So Israel recently signed the instrument of ratification of the International Solar Alliance as well. Right? Which country has recently voted to join the European Union's defense policy? So Denmark is set to join the European Union's defense policy after it held a referendum for the decision and uh, Denmark is the only EU member that is not the part of European Union's common security and defense policy. So the Denmark government has succeeded in abolishing an exemption secured in a 1993 referendum on the Maastricht Treaty and Sweden and Finland also placed historic bids to join NATO which will be taken up at the upcoming summit. Fine. So this is the country Denmark. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions. 
which have been taken from the past 2-3 days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Sana signing off.